Welcome to What the World Needs is Jesus Broadcast. Excited to be here today. Excited to be coming to you live from uh, What the World Needs is Jesus Studios. Boy, we want to tell you we love you today. Glory to God. And I want to tell you one better than that. God loves you today. Amen. And he loves you with a love that none of us have. Amen. An unconditional love. Bless God. I tell you what, God loves you and he wants you to be saved today. Amen. We have an announcement to make today. October the 31st, Just One, hey amen, the Just One Band will be at Pentecostal Power Ministries at 11 a.m. Hey amen, if, you, if you've ever heard Just One, listen, you'll want to come out and hear them again. Hey amen, mighty, mighty group of God. Hey amen, if you, if you hadn't heard Just One, you better come check them out. Hey amen, I guarantee you, you'll enjoy them. Hey amen, they're just a, they're just a, a, a powerful group. Uh, listen, and they serve the Lord, amen, and they come to worship the Lord in song, amen, and they minister, and boy, I tell you what, I just enjoy watching them, enjoy listening to them sing, amen. If you, if you don't, if you had never heard them, come on out and check them out, glory to God. They'll be there at 11 a.m., and lunch will be served afterwards, glory to God, amen. Uh, uh, today on the broadcast, we have Brother Kenneth Crane. Hey Amen. He'll be uh, preaching to us on the anchor. That's the name of his message. Hey Amen. And uh, uh, Sister Karen Crane, she'll be bringing us a song, Look What the Lord Has Done. What makes me want to sing it? Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I tell you, that's enough to get you excited right there. Hey Amen. Well, if you would, please subscribe, like, and click the bell to turn on your notifications on YouTube. Follow, like, and share us on Facebook. Also, check us out on some inst uh, uh, Instagram for some inspirational posts. Now sit back and enjoy this video. Amen. I want to say praise the Lord and welcome you to What the World Needs You, Jesus. What a time to be living in right here where we're at now in the last day, seeing all the things the Bible, how accurate the Bible is for feeling. Yes. Uh, I want to encourage you out there, Christians, you hold on to the Lord with all you might. Don't you give up. Don't back up. Don't sit yeah, down. Man. Don't let the enemy overtake you, praise God, because if you got Jesus in your heart, praise God, and the Holy Ghost, you, you have the almighty power on your side, yes. and the devil don't have the authority to do anything, take you out or do anything to you. We got to stand in these last days. Uh, I've been watching what's going on around the world. I've, uh, destruction everywhere you turn. Uh, out in California, they had a cyclone, the most powerful one that came in out there like that. Uh, it's caused mudslides, rock slides, uh, people going down the road. Two people was, and a tree blowed over and killed them instantly in the wow. car. Uh, see, people said, well, now we've always had storms, and we've always had earthquakes, and we've always had volcanoes. We've never had all this stuff going on at the same time like it is right now. Right. And then the thing about it is, it's just not this day, uh, a little weekly or a monthly thing is happening. This stuff is going on daily. All these things are going on daily, and the spirit of Antichrist is not coming, roaming around on this, in this world. It's, uh, it's roaming. It's taking over. Yeah. I'm telling you, listen, we need to be prepared. We, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit more about old Paul, praise God, uh, uh, I thought we'd move on away from that a little bit, but I uh, got up this morning, the Lord said, uh, we're going to do a little bit more talking there about Paul. Amen. Uh, that man right there was a man, praise God, he stood for Jesus. Yes, sir. When it came down, it's all said and done, no, well, he was, he was killed for Christ. Right. But I'm going to tell you something, he stood his ground, he didn't back up, just like Stephen, he didn't back up. Praise God, he stood there and let them stone him to death, but he would not denounce Jesus. And that's what we're going to have to be at today, folks. Right. Listen Amen. to me. The devil, praise God, is real. He is real, and he's causing havoc. Yep. And he does have people out there that he can uh, speak to them, tell them things, and they'll go out and act on it. Because I'm going to tell you something. Anybody can go out here and just murder and kill four, five, six, eight, ten people. They're not doing that. That's not God telling them to do no, that. And I hear people say, well, I, I heard somebody say the Lord told them to go out here and kill somebody. No, the Lord didn't tell them to do that. They're just listening to the wrong voice. Right. But Paul on that ship, praise God, he knew that God was going to send him to Rome because God had spoken to him. Yeah. Now, I want you to listen to me, Christian. Listen. We've been promised, praise God. If, if we'll live for Jesus, praise God, we've got promises in this Bible right here that we'll go to heaven. That's right. 
Amen. Praise God. God said it. Jesus said it. Praise God. And Come if on, he man. said it, that don't make no difference to me who else said it. it's not right. Praise God. That don't bl- uh, change the word. See, what God says is what counts. Yes, sir. What thus saith the word of the Lord. Mm-hmm. You see, everybody's got opinions, praise God, about what the scriptures uh, means. But I'm going to tell you something. You read that scripture, praise God. If it says thou shall not steal, bless God, there ain't one thing you can do with it. And it says thou shall not steal. That's it. It's just that simple. And, and when Jesus said in John 3 and 3, when he told Nicodemus, he said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he'll not see the kingdom of God. Right. If you're not born again, i got some news for you. That's You'll right. not see the kingdom of God. You'll That's not go right. to heaven. And if you listen to me, Jesus said, praise God, in, in the scriptures it speaks in there about hell is not made for man. Right. So on, you see it's not made for man. So why do we want to go to a place that's not oh, made for us? It's a right. place of torment. See, it's not God's will, the Bible says, that any should perish. He said, if I be lifted up above heaven and earth, he said, I'll draw all men into me. And I'm telling you, he's drawing people. And I feel the Holy Ghost, praise God, bearing witness on it. I don't care what country you're in, praise God. If you'll hear the truth, the truth will set you free. If you'll receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, praise God, you'll look and say, hey, I've been lied to and I've been told about these other gods and that can't talk, can't see, can't hear, can't speak, can't deliver me. Uh-huh. You'll see Jesus Christ is the real true son of the living God, the I am that I am. And he ain't no false prophet, praise God. He didn't tell no lie, praise God. He did die on that cross. And on the third day he did rise, praise God. And he is sitting on the right hand of the heavenly father. Amen. You know why Paul was able to stand and do what he done? And all he wrote most of the uh, New Testament. Uh, you know why he done it? Because he knew who Jesus was. Yeah. Praise God, he had that on the road Damascus experience, That's praise right. God. He had done had it all the part of the law and, and, and all the priest traditions and man's traditions and their doctrines and their, oh, you, you know, putting them under bondage and all that. You can't speak about the name of Jesus. He knew all about that because he was one of them that helped persecute uh, the churches and, and Christians and stuff in the beginning of it. But he got right with Jesus, see. You may be out there today and you may be serving a dead God or a false God or some kind of statue. And you're wondering why it ain't doing you no good and why you ain't a feeling nothing, ain't hearing nothing. You, uh, it's because there's no life in something that's not real. That's right. You say right. something that's dead don't have no life in it. Mm-mm. You take a dead tree, there ain't going to be no, nothing green pop up off of it. Why? Because it's dead. It don't have no life in it. That's right. If you go out there and look at a tree, praise God, it's alive and well and rooted and grounded and, and it's alive, you're going to see some green come off of that thing. <laughs> but you see, we need to know who we're standing and who we're standing with in these last days. It's coming down to a time now, praise God, that you need to choose who you're going to serve. Right. You're going to choose to serve Jesus, get on his side, stay on him. If you ain't, you're going to go on with the devil, enjoy your life while you can because there's coming a day that you're going to wish you to listen to, praise God, the old crazy preacher trying to tell you about Jesus. I can assure you, old Noah, praise God, looked foolish out there in the middle of the desert and the dust blowing around, sandstorms coming through and the little round uh, weeds rolling across the desert caught it so dry. Mm-hmm. But when the water got up about neck deep, old Noah didn't look too foolish in. Right. I'm telling you, we're not foolish. No, sir. We're on the right side, praise God. Ooh, Jesus asked Lord the question God. in Luke 6, uh, 46. He said, why call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? He said, those that hear my word, praise God, and doeth them. He said, I'll show you whom they like. He's like a man that dig deep. And built her house down up on the foundation when the wind and the rain was coming and blowing up again and it didn't fall. But the, uh, the one that wasn't wise, praise God, and built her house on the sand when the storm come, the house fell and it was great with the fall yeah. of it, see. I'm telling you about a man, his name's Jesus, praise God. There is no other name under heaven whereby a man can be saved, praise uh-huh. God. Jesus said in John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come to the Father but by me. Glory. I'm going to tell you something, you either saved or you ain't. Ain't right. none of this, praise God, halfway saved or, or none of this stuff. Yeah, you either truth, saved or you God. ain't. Amen. Praise God, Jesus is either in the house or he ain't. That's right. And I'm going to tell you something, listen to me, you can't be throwed a counterfeit, praise God, if you listen to man, they told you you're saved. And, and if they, listen to me, if you ain't, there's not a change in your life from the lifestyle you was living. In other words, if you was out drugging and drinking and doping and running around uh-huh. doing all these things and there's not a change in your life and you're still doing them same things, pray to God, listen to me, you've been deceived. Man told you you're saved. Man can't save you no way. The preacher can't save you. The pope can't save you. The president can't save you. Praise God, only Jesus can. Amen. And I'm telling you, the false Good teachers, right false there. preachers, false prophets, they're out there, praise right God, and the spirit of Antichrist is roaming around, praise God. The Bible says... 
that Satan can even transform himself into an angel of light, praise God, and he'll deceive the very elect if possible. Uh -huh. right. You see, we need, to be, we need to know where we stand. I get in this word right here and I read it. And I feel the comforter, Jesus said, praise God, he told the disciples, he said, it's expedient that I go. He said, if I don't go, the comforter won't come, which is the Holy Ghost. Amen. And praise God, when I go to reading this word right here and I go to calling out on Jesus, praise God, to help me to understand Whoa, this word, on, I man. feel that witness bearing witness feel with me it. on the inside of me, praise Amen. God. He said, my spirit to bear witness. Well, your spirit, your mind. He also said, I give you power to become sons and daughters of God. When you get born again, praise God, you need to get that relationship with Jesus Christ because that... The more you learn about Jesus, praise God, and the more you read his word, the more power you get, the closer you get to the Lord, that better right. relationship you get with him. So you can't just ask Jesus to save you, then go turn around and go back out and do what you want to. Right. Well, that's not right right there. That ain't right. You can't do that and live. You can't, you can't hold on to the world with one hand and the devil with the other. You're going to, you're going to love one, despise the other. You're going to have to let go of one to the other and get off the fence <laughs> and choose which way you're going to go. I'm going to tell you something. Jesus Christ could come back today. It might be next week. It might be next year. I don't know, but the thing about it is, is you may not be here to see the sun come up in, uh, in the morning when you right. hear this. Right. You right. say, your breath will leave your body. I guarantee you them people going down the road, uh, that tree fell on their car. They wasn't expecting that. They are driving down the road trying to get home probably out of the storm that come up uh, suddenly and all at once that tree hit their car right. and it killed them instantly. You see, I know what it's like to be riding along, and Brother Harold does too, be riding along all at once, and then here comes the death coming your way. Praise God, and all at once, death hits one uninspired. Yep. I'm telling you right now, praise God, it's something to be sitting uh, a three or four foot from death. Yep. I'm telling you what, listen to me, listen, listen. We're only a heartbeat away from death. Only a heartbeat. I'm going to tell you, when that heart stops beating, your breath leaves your body. I'm telling you, 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 you that, you're there. Ooh, There's at times that, they, that God will have mercy and allow somebody to do, you know, uh, pump your heart and all that and let you come, you know, Lord will allow you to go on. But I'm telling you what, listen to me. We're taking life for granted. Yeah. We're taking life for granted that everything we're going to go on, we're going to live to be 100 years old. But I'm telling you, listen to me. You go to a graveyard and walk around in it. I've told you the babies. From, I've, I've been a pallbearer from three months old into the 90s. Yeah, yeah. And I'm telling you, all ages in between. See, it's a, the Bible says in Hebrews 9, 27, it's appointed unto man wants to die, and added, but out of this to judgment. Yeah. See, I'm telling you, life is real. And I want you to know something. We need to read this word right here, praise God, and get like old Paul, praise God. And he told them, he said... I, he, went, he was absent for a while, and God told him that there wouldn't be a narrow one of them lose their life. And Paul said, I believe God. Yeah. You know what? I believe the Lord, amen. 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 I believe God, amen. amen. I don't believe what, I don't, listen to me, I don't, get, I don't go by trying to get my comfort, my peace out of no blessed God, no worldly stuff. My peace and my hope is in Jesus Christ, yes, praise sir. God. Oh, Paul said, if I had hope only in this life, I'd be of all men most miserable. But thank God, amen, my hope ain't in this world. Amen. Don't put your hope, praise God, in no man. Right. I don't care, bless God, who's in charge of this world, praise God, in the, of this country right here. Listen to me, they're only human. Mm -hmm. And they're only here for a little while, praise God. Yeah. Jesus, praise God, he, he, was in, he was in the beginning and he'll be in the end, praise God. I'm telling you, I want something that's solid. I want something, praise God, that's going to be my anchor, praise yeah, God. When yeah. everything's going good, he's my anchor. When things is going wrong, he's my anchor. Yeah. In the midst of the storm, he's my anchor, praise oh, God. God. In the midst yeah. of whatever's going on, praise God, he is my anchor, praise yeah, God. Sir. And I'm telling you, let me tell you Woo. something, praise God. It shall not be moved. Amen. Jesus Christ, praise, praise God, God. he ain't going to never be moved, yeah. praise God. And I got news for you. He ain't going to come back and apologize for anything. He ain't going to call nobody up and ask them, is it all right to come? Praise God. When the Father said, go get my children, praise God, he's going to step out on that cloud. And then we're going to hear that trumpet sound. And praise God, those that are dead in Christ will rise first. And the Bible says that we are alive and remain, shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. I don't know about you, praise God, but give me Jesus and let the world just slide on by. Amen. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you something, this world's going to hell in a hand basket, praise yeah. God. And there ain't no man going to be able to straighten it out, praise God. If God wants it to go on longer, he'll allow it to. But I'm going to tell you something, ain't no man going to change things in this world allow it to go any further than what God says it will. 
Only God is going to give that. And you know what we need in America? We need a turning back to God. Well, the churches need to turn back to God. God uh, over in, I think it's in Second uh, Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, God said that my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways and pray and seek my face. Then will I hear from heaven and then will I heal their land. I tell you what, if you go back and study the history of Israel, I heard a man teach on this, and I've uh, done a little bit of research on some stuff. Before uh, the, the Israel was destroyed, praise God, God sent warnings. He done everything he could do. He sent the prophets. He sent them out to preach to try to get people to turn. They wouldn't. God sent uh, judgment. Judgment came, and they still wouldn't turn. And you read in there, uh, eight or 19 years, praise God, before, uh, well, you have to study history on some of this right here. Before Israel was destroyed, as a plague hit. As a plague come. Now look where we at today. It's been 19 years, right around 1920 years since 9-11. Boy, the church is filled up and everything was going real good. Everything just, whoo, glory to God, boy, we've turned back to God. It didn't take long till America started sliding back down the hill. And now it's been, here we are, been right at 1920 years. Turn, time to turn and repent instead of America turning and repenting it's got worse and now here we are with the plague and all these disasters going on it's not, glo uh, glo it's not global warming or climate change is causing on, the problem yeah, I'll tell you right. what the problem is it's Preach sin it right, Amen. it's sin praise God and this Bible right here for feelings right here down to a T Amen. it tells us all about all the things that will be going on in the last days sin is abounding and the love of many are waxing cold. And a lot of them are turning away from God. The Bible says in the last days, listen now, I'm just following the Holy Ghost. All we can do with the Word of God is either say amen or oh me. Right. Uh, see, it says in the last days there'll be a great falling away. And it also says there'll be people turning from the faith. I know that's not a popular saying, but get in there and read the Word for yourself and don't let no man deceive you, praise God. I'm telling you there's deceivers out there and people are being deceived by man. But this word will not deceive you because the truth is in this word right here and this truth will set you free. Wow. You're weak in your faith. You read the word because the Bible says that faith come up by hearing and hearing by the word, praise God. It'll strengthen your faith, see. The Bible says, praise God, in Hebrews 11, 1, now faith is. It ain't something that's going to come, praise God. Now faith is the subject of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen yet. The Bible says, praise God, also wrote over in the scriptures, praise God, the Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith. But he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Are we diligently seeking the Lord or what are we doing? Are we seeking the Lord? Are we wanting a closer walk with the Lord or what are we doing? Listen, get your heart right with the Lord. I'm going to read you some scriptures right here. Uh, if the Lord allows, if he don't, we'll go on the way the Lord wants to go. But I'm going to read you something. It's in Romans chapter 12. I want to read you 1 through 3. And I, I want you to listen to these. The Lord is trying his best to say, Wake up. Wake up. I'm standing at the door knocking. I'm standing at the door knocking. If you'll hear me, and allow, open your heart up and allow me to come in. When I'm drawing you, I'll save you. Lost person. And if you backed up on the Lord and you backslid, listen to me. You need to repent. If you feel a, uh, the Lord knocking on your heart's door, you need to repent. Because you see, people don't like hearing this, and it ain't popular and, uh, or nothing. But you can go to a point backing away from God, you can get to a point to where he'll pull out of the house and you're in trouble. Now, that's not popular with uh, this day and time in the 21st century. But I'm telling you, listen to me, this word's not transforming to the 21st century. The 21st century is going to have to conform to this word. Come on. Or it's going to find itself in trouble. Amen. See, that's the problem. We're thinking, well, we're in the 21st century, and Jesus up there with a boombox walking around, praise God, with a, uh, you know, I don't know what kind of music could be boom booming on that thing, but it ain't happening like that. The Bible says in Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's not changed. We are going to have to conform to this word. And if we don't, we're going to find ourselves in trouble. Listen to what it says in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 through 3. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. 
You see, Jesus done done his part. He died on the cross, gave his life on the cross, and he sent us the comforter down here if we get born again, the lead guy and direct us in spirit and in truth, so we have no excuse. See, are we perfect? No, we're not perfect. I make mistakes every day, but if I make a mistake, I know where to carry it to. I carry it to Jesus and get it on the blood, and I'll get up and move right on. Listen right here what it says in verse 2. And listen now. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. There's a scripture in the uh, Bible that says, when Jesus said, when I come back, will I find faith on earth? You see, we're saved by grace through faith, not of works, uh, but it's a gift of God. See? So you need to know that it's by faith that we walk this thing and trust in the Lord. See? I've not seen heaven, but I can tell you it's real. I've not seen Jesus face to face, but I can tell you he's real. You know why? Because I feel that, I felt the Holy Ghost from the time I started, and I still feel it right now. Praise God. He's bearing witness with it. Listen in Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Wherefore, seeing you are so also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do so easily beset us, and let us run the race with patience that is set before us. Looking unto man. No, 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 it don't say that. Well, looking unto the government. No, it don't say that. Looking unto uh, my money. No, it don't say that. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy of the Lord is set before, for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Think about that. Jesus ain't, I heard, uh, I've even heard people say, well, Jesus ain't in heaven. I heard a preacher say that one time. I thought, well, the tree done fell on that man's head. Something wrong with that because the Bible says he's sitting on the right hand of my heavenly what Father. Says, so you see, that right there is why we need to go uh, and study the Word for ourselves. Don't take my Word for it. Go into the Word and read it for yourself. You see, mm -hmm. if I told you uh, uh, poison oak could break you out uh, and you said, well, I don't know if it will or not. You go out there and get a hold of that stuff and next thing you know you broke out, you'll learn that poison oak will break you out. Right. You see, you, sometimes we learn by experiences. When I was a kid, Mom and them said, boy, don't, uh, you don't need to stick your hand in that, that heater to burn you. Curiosity, you heard that saying, curiosity got the cat. Mm -hmm. They walked off, and I went over there, and I heard that go, Shh. and then I felt it. And I thought, man, they got more, they smarter than I thought they was. <laughs> and then on, when Mama said, don't do that, boy, I learned to listen. Right. God's trying to tell us when you hear what thus saith the word That's of God. Right. Now listen to what it says right here in Colossians. I'm going to read you 1 through 4. Chapter 3, 1 through 4. If you then be risen where Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. There it is again where Christ is at. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. For you are dead and your life is hid with Christ. When Christ who is our life shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. I don't know about you, but I love them scriptures right there. Yeah, yeah. Say. If I set my affections on things above, not on things on this earth, you see, we're going to hear these words right here. We're going to hear, welcome men, my well and faithful servant, or we're going to hear these words, depart from me, you work of iniquity, I never knew you. Which words would you rather hear? Boy, that words, now this is what soothes me when I hear this, is welcome men, my well and faithful servant. That's, that, that, just, that just does something to my heart to know. That I have that promise, praise God, from my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that if I follow him and I abide in him and he abides in me, he'll say, welcome in my well and faithful servant. Yeah. Whew, glory to God. I'm telling you right now, praise God. There ain't no reason anybody ought to miss heaven. That's right. You know, I, I, I was just thinking about this the other day, and the Lord uh, kind of just give me a, a little revelation on this. John 3 and 3 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should. People changes that word right there and changes that whole scripture up. It, it, it just takes the whole meaning out of it. Uh -huh. Should not perish but have everlasting life. See, if you listen to me now, if you believe that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin, he walked on this earth and he died on that cross and on the third day he rose, 
There should not be, listen, there should not be no excuse for you to miss heaven. That's right. Amen. The Lord showed me that. He said, that's why that word is should is put in there. Because if they believe that I am the son of the living God, then there should be no option. There should be no negotiations as to what they need to do. They need to be born again. Yeah. But because people believe that Jesus is the Son of God and believe that He is the true Son of the living God, does not mean they're going to go to heaven. Right. They have to ask Jesus to save them and confess it out of their mouth that Jesus is Lord and that they've been born again. Praise God. And they've got to believe that He is who He says He is. And they've got to ask Jesus to save Him when the Spirit draws them. If they don't, just knowing about Jesus don't mean anything. No, it's not going to stop you from going to hell. Right. But being born again, praise God, and your name written down in the Lamb's Book yeah. of Light, yeah. praise God, yeah. what sets you apart from only just believing, you know. Yes. See? how? It, oh, boy, I tell you, boy, Glory people just God. get a hold of this thing. I'm telling you, people just get, their, get a hold of it. Yes. The Lord, praise God, is real. I'm telling you, He's real. I want you to know something. He loves you. Listen to what it says right here in uh, Philippians 3. 11 through 14, and I'm fishing to be done. If by any means I might obtain unto the resurrection of the dead, this is Paul talking, not as though I had always obtained, either were already perfect. In other words, he said, I'm not perfect. But I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brother, and I count not myself to apprehend it, but this one thing I do. Listen, somebody needs to hear this right here. Yeah. You're toting your, uh, you, you're toting your past with you. You keep bringing your past up with you and you're wondering why you can't advance. It's, it's stopping you. You can't look back. You, you can't look back and drag everything along behind you. You know what'll happen? You go dragging, uh, uh, go get you a 100 pound of taters, 50 pound in each uh, bag and tie it behind you and walk a mile with it. And then let somebody that don't have 50 pound walk along beside of you and see which one of you will be tired when you get that mile. Right. You see what I'm saying? Now listen to this. Brethren, I count not myself to apprehend it, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before me. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. Lay everything else down. Listen, if it's praise God, if it ain't of the Lord, and this will cause a new problem, lift it aside. Yes, sir. Amen. And let it be. If there's things, there's things in my life that there's not one single thing I can do as physically I can do about it. So what I do is I put it in the Lord's hands and I lay it down and I move on because I'm going to tell you something. My mind's made up. My heart's fixed. Praise God. I'm pressing towards that mark. Praise God. I'm going to go to heaven. Uh -huh. And I'm not going to let nothing or nobody stop me from going. Praise God. I'm, I've got my mind made up. Yeah. But I want you to know something. My heart's desire is, and my dream, of, my dream is, is to see as many people get saved as it's possible. Praise God to see them get right and go to heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, but we sir. want you to know something. Jesus loves you. Yes. We want to thank you for listening to what the world needs. You, Jesus, broadcast. And listen. Think about where you stand. Right. Christian, keep pressing forward and don't back up. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. If you backslid. God go to dealing with you. You turn yourself around, get back right with God. And the lost person, when you feel you, you feel that tug in that drawing, yeah. you call upon the name of Jesus. He said, "Let whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord, and they shall be saved." Yeah, we thank you for that. Praise God, and thank you for listening. Share it many people as you can. And if you ain't uh, subscribed, subscribe. But what the world needs yeah. is Jesus. Praise God, and we thank you for listening. Until next time.
through. Has God done what he said he would do? Then I think we need to stand up and praise him, don't you? just want to say we appreciate you for watching what the world needs is jesus amen we we love each and every one of you amen and just want to say that we thank you for watching amen if you have a prayer request you can send a private message to facebook.com forward slash what the world needs is jesus you can call or text brother ricky phillips 256-630-1262 or brother larry moss at 256-603-0641 or Brother Kenneth Crane at 256-557-2858. Or you can also get a hold of Brother Harold O'Neill at 256-475-5854. And I guarantee you, any of these men would want to talk to you, would want to lead you to Jesus Christ to help you in any way we can. Amen. I tell you what, there's nothing like being a Christian today. Amen. Living a good Christian life. Glory be to God. You can also get a hold of us through email, amen. You can email us at what the world needs is Jesus TV at gmail.com. Amen. Until our next broadcast, may God richly, richly bless you. Amen.